And it turned out that there were something like 47 activities in a two week time frame on a referral from a good client, but it was a $2,000 policy. The guy was doing international business. It was all ENS. All right, so now we're gonna talk about my favorite report in the whole agency. And I love this report one because it's pretty doggone accurate quickly. It's simple to run and it's something that everybody in your agency touches every day. And I just find that it has so many clues in it if you work really hard to understand the report. And that report is, drum roll please, the agency's activity report. This is a report that shows you literally every input into the agency, what happened today. And for most management systems, in fact, the only one that I know that does not have this is QQ Solutions, has a way to code activity. So is it a billing question? Is it claims? Is it this? Is it that? A couple of things that we love in this report. One, documentation. We know that we're documentation believers here at APP. We love documentation. We want everybody to document. If it's not in the management system, it didn't happen is a big statement that we make. What we believe in is the idea of going ahead and getting everything in there. Well, when you run an activity report, it's pretty easy to see who's documenting and who's not. If everybody's in a similar role, there should be about equal documentation documentation. If not, we know we have some overachievers or underachievers that need to be dressed. The next thing I love pouring over is the activity codes. What are people doing every day? And I love this for a few reasons. One, I want to identify the next roles an agency needs. Maybe we need a certificate person or a claims person. Uh, maybe we can identify opportunities for virtual assistants that are not licensed that can take some work off of our people. Most importantly, I love the activity report as well, because I think that it also shares with us a little bit about the, the snapshot of the day. Who works on what, how much are they doing, what happened today. I also like to ensure accuracy that people are using the right code. Some things that we shy away from that many agencies have. So if you have this, this is a judgment-free zone, but a recommendation is phone call in, phone call out, email in, email out. That doesn't really tell us what it's about. I'd rather know how many billing questions we took today so that we can strengthen that. I'd rather know how many claims we took today to see what's going on there. And so when we use generic activities, it doesn't give us the transparency that we need. And similar to an Epic, there's attach and we should be attaching that where we can inside of the policy or with an actual code that says what that attachment is. Finally, if you know something about pivot tables, you could pop your activity report into a pivot table or in our agency assessment, we actually create this dashboard for you. What are the top client activities? And I'll just tell you two quick little stories. We were doing an agency 2.0 launch, which is kind of the day as part of the assessment. We come back and we say, here's the game plan for the agency, the values, the vision, the goals, the incentive plan. It's a really, really cool day. And twofold, one agency, the top client's activity was actually a prospect and they had easily 35% more activity on it than the agency's largest client because they were trying to win this account last year. And lo and behold, they didn't but it disrupted everything, it backlogged renewals, it backlogged everything. And so it was a good teachable moment sometimes that we have to have balance and maybe walk away from some opportunities. The next one was a little bit of a smaller segment, but the last month we were looking at activities at an agency 2.0. And it turned out that there was something like 47 activities in a two week time frame on a referral from a good client, but it was a $2,000 policy. The guy was doing international business. It was all ENS. The, it was just a great moment because we had a conversation with the agency of just because it's a referral, if it doesn't fit our core business, we don't have to do it. And that was a distraction from you know some of our bigger renewals. And so I think that that's another just critical statement of how do you go ahead and make sure you have that communication? Only can when we're looking at the reports. I think that it's an awesome opportunity. It's just an easy report to glance at. Sometimes you'll pick up things. Sometimes on these reports, it's vanilla. And I say, no news is good news. I'm getting bored looking at your reports. And that's the way I want them to be. Think about what you got going on with your reporting. It's an awesome opportunity to just give transparency and clarity. But that activity report to me is, lo and behold, one that I always pop open for my clients and see what's going on. Check a look at that. Check out our agency assessment and we'll see you soon.